There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Like maybe Building a rocket or fighting a mummy Or climbing up the Eiffel Tower Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. Or giving a monkey a shower Surfing tidal waves Creating nanobots or locating Frankenstein's brain It's over here! Finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving her sister insane. Idiot! As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Barry! So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! So, Ferb, what should we do today? I mean, besides giving Perry a bath. What is that wonderful noise? Awesome! Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. Ooh, I've got to take a new picture of myself on my blog. I didn't realize mine is already a week old. What are you doing to Mom's car? We tricked it out. You don't even know how to drive. Well, duh. That's why Fur built this remote. Oh, you are so busted. Mom! 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 Um, where's Mom? She's playing bridge at Mrs. Garcia Shapiro. They won't get away with it this time. Oh, Candice, dear. Bubula, how good to see you. What a coincidence. Do you know your mom is here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do, Mrs. Garcia Shapiro. I need to talk to her if you don't mind. Oy vey, look how tall you are now. You must have grown a couple of inches since the last time I saw you. That was last week, Mrs. Garcia Shapiro. Well, your mom's inside, dear. Where are your braces? I thought you were wearing braces. Yeah. Mom! 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 What is it, Candace? Oh, you have got to see what Phineas and Ferb are doing. <laughs> Hey, Ferb, what's the red button for? Ah! What is it? What do you want me to see? Quack! Hi, Mom. Hi, boys. Well, if that's all, I'll just be getting back to the game. Good thing we beefed up the suspension. Whoa! What else can it do? Hi, Phineas. Oh, hi, Isabella. What you doing? We're entering the Swamp Oil 500 today. Aren't you gonna need a pit crew? Do you know a pit crew? Well, I know a few people who work well together. Great, you're hired. See you at the track. Hey, Ferb, where's Perry? Good morning, Agent P. The evil doctor Doofenshmirtz is up to his old tricks. For reasons completely unknown, he's purchased a giant airship, or blimp, as the kids say. Your mission is to find out why, and, if necessary, put a stop to it. Hi, Phineas. I got your pit crew. Cool. See you in the pits. Okay, girls, we're dealing with a 426 cubic inch fully blown V8 with hypo lifters, radical cam, and a limited slip differential. Would that be electronically fuel injected? Phineas! 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 Hey, I can't hear the cars. Hey, Candace, I didn't know you were a racing fan. Jeremy. Who, me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of those, those, uh, uh, that robot is cute. Oh, that's Billy Ray Diggler's car. He's great. Yeah, yeah, he's the best. <laughs> that Billy Roy. Well, Billy Ray. <laughs> Billy Ray. I, I love it when he turns left and then he turns left again and then... And in the third lane, the newcomers, Team Phineas. Now, is it just me or does he look a little bit young to be behind the wheel of a 700 horsepower racing machine? Yes, yes he does. And look, he's already got his own screaming fans. Candace is rooting for us. Candace, you're on the big screen. Yes! And your little brother's gonna be on TV. Phineas? On TV? TV, that's it! They are 
so busted. Can you wait right here for a second? Thanks. What is it, Candace? I'm right in the middle of a three-no Trump. Turn on the TV! All right, all right, Candace. This better be good. Well, well, do you see it? Just a second, honey. Turn on the kibble box first. Hmm, all right. Wait. Okay, that's not it. Um, is it this one? No, this is another phone. Oh, it's turning on the stereo. Mom, hurry up! Okay, just a second. Are you embarrassed by flaking, itchy, peeling? Candace, this is a dandruff commercial. Is there something you're trying to tell me? Okay, Burp, are we good to go? And with the race about to start, there's the Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated blimp. Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. Ah, Penny the Platypus. I'm glad you're here, actually. I was just getting ready to serve some platypus under glass. You're just in time to witness my latest invention, my deflatinator ray, which I will demonstrate by deflating all the tires at the Jefferson County Motor Speedway. After which, I will deflate everything in a tri-state area. That way, if anyone wants anything flated, they will have to talk to me. Phineas, you are Candace, you've got a little... Smile! Uh, Sylvanair picture, only a dollar. Wait a second! Hey! Now I gotcha! Hey, hey, Missy, two pictures, two bucks. Oh, yeah, uh, I've only got a dollar, but uh, I just want the one. You can just tear the other one up. Okay. I've got him now! <laughs> and pulling up fast on the inside lane, it's number 42, Team Phineas! Hey, Fur, do you think we can get any more power? I mean, I know it's just a battery, but I was thinking. Let's open it up and see what this puppy get. Uh, Fur, uh, uh, we're actually slowing down now. Fur, who? Oh, yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey, Fur, we should bring Phineas in for a pit stop. It looks so manly. Thanks. Hit it, Burp. I'm so proud of you girls. And the bow was a nice touch, Gretchen. <laughs> Listen to those fools as they worship their candy colored race car man. How about a little demonstration of my deflationary prowess? I got it! Scar is avoiding every obstacle. It's like you can see the whole darn track at once. Looked better. Huh? What do you mean? Already they fear me. Listen to their screams, huh? Imagine the mayhem once my deflatinator ray is fully charged. Run, run like the wind, my little endangered rodent. And I will give you some cheese. <laughs> I know I had some around there somewhere. Some, there used to be some road for it in the back here, I don't... Hmm. I suppose I should have seen that coming. Go watch a little TV. And look at this amazing finish! All right, I'm coming. Oh no! A blimp is about to hit the broadcasting tower! Oh, you... 
Aha. Uh -huh. Meep. Deal me back in, Viv. Hmm. Looks like we're walking. Home, Candace? I'm busy with my bridge game, Candace? She has no idea. <gasps> gotcha. I can't believe you've grown so much. It's unbelievable. Mom! Mom, you've got to see this. It's about your car. All right. Come on, come on, come on! Candace, you're wearing out the heels of my shoes. See, Mom? Look, look, I told you. <gasps> but who did this? Phineas and Ferb. You mean... Yeah, yeah, they... yeah. <laughs> they washed my car? Yes! No! What? It's beautiful! I gotta admit, I thought you were exaggerating a bit, but this is really worth getting excited about. Hi, Mom. We're home. Hey, boys! I saw what you did today. Yeah? How'd you like it? I loved it. Now, who wants some snacks? Thanks, Mom. Honey, close your mouth. This is Stanky Dog coming to you on the hottest day of the summer. So unless you live at the beach, I say take it easy and do nothing today. Yep, just find yourself a shady tree and maybe an aquatic mammal of some sort and blow the whole day off. Come on, Ferb. If we let a little heat stop us from having the best day ever, then the morning DJs win. Whew, boy, it's hot today. So what are you up to? We're making our own beach right here in the backyard. Oh, how cute. Well, I'm off for my spa day. You boys behave yourselves and don't bother your father. He's finally cleaning out the basement. Bye, Mom! Yes! You heard her. We can't bug Dad, which makes me in charge. By default. Carry on. We're gonna need more sand. Hey, where's Perry? Morning, Agent P. Lawn gnomes across the tri-state area are disappearing, leaving thousands of gardens unprotected from the evils of black magic. We suspect doofenshmirtz. Get right on it. Aren't you a little young to be a landscape contractor? Yes. Yes, I am. Hi, Phineas. Oh, hey, Isabella. What you doing? Building a beach. Check it out. Can me and the other fireside girls be lifeguards? We need to earn our aquatic safety badges. Sure. I mean, I've been a friend of Susie's longer than Katie, so I should have been invited to that party first. I don't care if they're lab partners. We're locker neighbors, and locker neighbors trumps lab partners any day. <gasps> Sorry, Stacey. Gotta go. Welcome to our beach. Ha! You call that a beach? This is way below your usual standard. This isn't even worth a call to mom. You know, if you guys ever want to be popular, you're gonna have to stop playing in sandboxes. Hey! So, Candace, what do you think? That's it. I'm calling Mom. Hey, Candace. Jenny? Stacy? Uh, you never told us you had a beach in your backyard. You're going to be the most popular girl in the neighborhood. I will? I just saw Jeremy and his buddies with their surfboards. Jeremy's here? <gasps> Gotta go. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Just look at my bounty of gnome riches. Oh, this is a strange one. Wait! Who are you? A platypus? Bury the platypus! You are mine now! Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it was the garage door opening. You are mine now! And that was the TV remote. I've got to start labeling these things. Aha! You are mine now! <laughs> Finally, I will rid myself of you. But first, Turn your attention to the giant screen and... Hmm. Maybe I need to turn the cable on first? Let's get this beach party started. Where well, we wake up early and wax our surfboards down. We'll hit the beach, yeah, we'll hit the beach. Throw our board shorts on and head for surfing time. Hey, look! I can see our house from up here. Can you go? How low can you go? Look! So 
that's how low you can go. We've been asking that question for generations. What? What's everybody looking at? For winning the limbo contest, you are now officially what? crowned what? Queen Wahine of the Beach. All hail Queen Wahine! <laughs> I can't believe it! Listen up, people, and I'll teach ya. Now Phineas and Ferb in a backyard beat ya. Every morning Phineas he gonna say, Brother, what you gonna do today? Now you see we're having fun playing under the sun and get in line, get in line, cause the wet ski's running. A backyard beach, a backyard beach. Nothing's out of reach, we got the backyard beach. You can change in the broken hut, drink out of a coconut. Three games for a token, but the rest is free. You got sea and parasailing, surfing in the trail, and your contacts need sailing. The rest you can't see. Got the backyard beach, a backyard Beach. Nothing's out of reach, we got the backyard beach Got the backyard beach, a backyard beach Don't fall into the breach, got the backyard beach I've never been happier in my entire life Something is very wrong Not a single call from Candace Not even a text message Olga, hose me down, I'm going home Okay, I think I finally got the right one Now, Perry the Platypus, you will finally understand my pain Back in Gimmelstump in the days of my youth, the Doofenshmirtzes were a proud family, but those were lean times for my father, and our beloved Lono was repossessed. Who would protect our Zatzen fruit garden from witch spells and wood trolls? From a tender age, my father decided that it would be me. While the other children played kick the stomp on and ate dunko berries, I would stand for hours. All through the cold night, as the Spitzen Hound howled, my only companion was the moon. And my neighbor, Kenny. And since my lawn gnome was taken away from me, I will destroy every lawn gnome in the entire Tri State area! Behold the Destructinator! And now, Perry the Platypus, to activate my creation! Way, Jennabelle. Hello, Buford. Perhaps you missed the sign. No bullying, no yodeling. I don't like this any more than you do. First up in the surf contest is Bobby Nelson. Oh, and Nelson eats it on a five-footer. And there's Django Brown shooting the curl. And here comes Buford Von Stahl. Oh! He pummels Brown with a Philadelphia traffic stop. And now he's got him in a half Nelson. Now a full Nelson. Oh, and now he's actually beating him with Bobby Nelson. Here's the scores from our judges, and Buford doesn't like it one bit. Next up is Phineas Flynn, and it's great to see a young surfer show such confidence. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, those kids today and their holographic projections. He's in the pipeline, now he's hanging 10. He's hanging 20. He's hanging 32. Now he's just hanging. The crowd loves it. I don't really think there's a name for that. The crowd is doing the wave, and Phineas is surfing it. Let's go to the judges. 10 to the fifth power, infinity, and oh, it seems Phineas Flynn's radical serving has made judge number three rethink Einstein's theory of relativity. Cowabunga, laws of nature. So, are you having fun? Girl, the moment has arrived. <laughs> Just one second. Hello? Um, Candace, is everything okay? Oh, everything is just wonderful. And Phineas and Ferb, what are they doing? Oh, such wonderful things. Candace, honey, I'm coming home. Wait, what? I'm right around the corner. I'll be there in two minutes. No, wait, no, Mom, you can't. Oh, wait, wait, uh, stay right there. You've got to stop her. Oh, no, 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 no. Mom, Mom, please, Mom. Run for your lives! It's no Mageddon! Who's protecting our garden? Candace, tell me the truth. What is going on here? <sighs> Phineas and Fur built a beach in the backyard just like they said they were going to, but instead of just a cute little beach in their sandbox, it turned out to be this absolutely huge beach with a coastline and palm trees and a pier and hula dancers and water skiers and tiki huts and dolphins and dancing and surfing and everybody from the neighborhood showed up? <laughs> And then I was just about to 
share a smoothie with Jeremy when a coconut dropped on my head and- <laughs> Just for a moment, it seemed that the wily Buford would steal away the coveted surfing trophy from under the noses of our heroes. But I can only continue my benign reign and spread love, happiness, and ultimate popularity throughout my kingdom. If you would just let me have my moment. Oh, there you are, Perry. Well, everybody, looks like that's all for today. Phineas and Ferb! Phineas and Ferb! Phineas and Ferb! If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. That was great. Hey, boys. Hey, Mom. So how was your day at the beach? Wait, wait! My kingdom, my Jeremy, it was all so beautiful! What have you done to my paradise? Candace, honey, I think it's time to get you out of the sun for a little while. I think she had fun. In summer only Dog here with a special shout out to my two new pals, Phineas and Ferb, for hosting a beach party that was hot, hot, hot. And speaking of hot, slather on the sunscreen, listeners, because tomorrow's weather calls for another scorcher. With a slight chance of scattered lawn gnomes. <laughs> He's a semi aquatic, egg laying mammal of action. He's a furry little flat foot who'll never flinch from a fray. He's got more than just mad skill. He's got a beaver tail and a bill. And the women swoon whenever they hear him say.